Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. We're looking at the Remnant Stormtrooper today. Uh, this one has been pretty damn elusive here in Australia. Um, Zing Pop Culture originally put it up for pre-order and then quickly took it down. I managed to get two in and ordered and then they basically cancelled, you know, something happened. There's, there's no telling what happened there but people's pre-orders were cancelled um the figures basically just weren't gonna ever show up so yeah we we missed out down here in australia but i've got a got a big thanks to uh matt buddy matt uh who's a member of my channel he sent me a package a few weeks ago and i did a i did a uh, unboxing video of that and he uh included this in the package you know it was you know i was over the moon um i didn't think i'd ever get this figure i almost i pretty much given up on him um wasn't too fast i was just gonna weather up some uh, regular stormtroopers but to actually have one in the collection i'm you know super grateful um and you know this stormtrooper mold we all know we all know how great this is and uh yeah you know i'm happy to have one of these i wasn't too excited about the paint job on it but having it in hand it's got a sort of the armor's got this sort of nice sort of matte flat over it um which is to stop it being sort of shiny like the regular stormtrooper so i dig that um probably would have hesitated buying multiples just because you know all the all the deco is the same it's not much variation so you do need to sort of mix that up yourself a little bit um so yeah i don't have the box so i don't have that to show you but that's that's okay um and i can't not even sure which number it is so we're just going to roll on with the figure does come with this e11 which is the sort of updated version with the sort of the sort of magazine on the, on the side there and a uh, little sort of sight thing on the front but yeah this is it's exactly the same stormtrooper mold as we've had um with the newer mold anyway but uh yeah just with that weathering it looks good on the mando shelf i've got the biker scout um so yeah they look they look good together and uh, yeah, I, I hope to maybe one day track down a, one or two more. But uh, you know, if I don't, I'm not too fussed about it. But um, my plan is actually to swap out this blaster with one of the TIE Fighter blasters because you sort of see, it's particularly in uh, the Chapter 3 where they've got the Remnant Stormtroopers in the client sort of base of operations there. They don't have their sort of standard you know, E-11s, some of them do, but one of them's got like a TIE Fighter style blaster, um, which is that sort of smaller, you know, it's like, it's like a Star Wars Uzi, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called, but, uh, you know, I do love this, this sculpt. The, it looks good. You know, it looks great on the Mando shelf. I like the remnant sort of side of things. I think that's cool. Um, you know, just, just looking at it, spending a little bit of time here looking at it and uh, talking about it actually makes me want to get another one. So I uh, I may end up trying to hunt one down, but, you know, they're going for nearly 100 bucks on eBay, so I'm not going to pay that. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't really... That sort of grey, sort of dirty weathering, they didn't really continue that on the back. They've left the sort of... You know, you know it looks like sort of cigarette-stained, <laughs> you know, tobacco-stained... Uh, sort of orange, yellow, brown dirt. A little bit there on the inner, inner thigh there. Um, but yeah, none of that sort of scuffing and stuff on the rest of the figure um, on the back. But that's okay, you know, he's on the shelf facing forward. So is it a big deal? Probably not. Um, but yeah, the sculpt is fantastic. I did get a couple of the three and three quarter ones, so I dig them as well. But it is nice to have this one. So, Matt, if you're watching again, I'd, I'd appreciate the hell out of... Excuse me. I appreciate the hell out of you helping me achieve uh, getting this one in the collection. Uh, you know, I'm very, very grateful. So, thank you. Um, you know, articulation is, you know, pretty much the standard for Black Series now. All the butterfly joints and the double neck and all that good stuff, the hinges in the wrists, all the good articulation. No pins in the sh shoulders and elbows and uh, knees, and there were never pins in the shoulders anyway, so I'm tired, okay. But yeah, great figure. It's even, 
the black of the lens almost has like a slight green tinge to it. I know the camera's probably not going to pick it up, but there is... You may be able to get that a little bit. There's ever so green tinge to it, which is cool too. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Sound out in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new around here and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. And uh, check out all the links to my social media. And uh, I have a Redbubble store with merch that I design myself. And I have a P.O. box for anyone that wants to send through a letter. Um, I will definitely do videos on those when they come in. Get a bit of a shout out and, uh, you know, just, just to sort of share my appreciation for, for getting letters. I do keep them all. I've been keeping letters from, from Star Wars friends for years. And I don't call it fan mail <laughs> because they're friends. Friend mail. But yeah, I love the, love the look of this pose. This is great. And it's just cool. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always.